Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider sketching the given signal y of t. What is y of t? y of t is given as x of t plus x of 2 minus t into u of 1 minus t. x of t is given something like this, which exists from minus 1 to plus 3. Then we need to add this signal with x of 2 minus t. So first we'll try to understand what is x of 2 minus t. It is shifted and reflected version of x of t. Is that okay? There is a shift, there is a reflection. So as per the precedence rule, first I have to shift the signal and later I have to reflect the signal. Is that okay? So first I will sketch x of t plus 2. Whatever the signal is being given, let me write it again, x of 2 minus t. So this signal I can write it as x of minus t plus 2. So first I will sketch x of t plus 2, shifted version, shifted to the left by minus 2. Later I would uh, reflect that signal and I would get that signal, I will add it with x of t. So let's begin the process. Uh, let me just get x axis and y axis. This signal, whatever uh, I am drawing now, I would call this as x of t plus 2. That is the shifted version of x of t, shifted to the left by minus 2. So now the shape of the shape of the signal, whatever I have, it is going to remain same. The only thing is it is get, getting shifted to the left by minus 2. So how do I get the limits? Add minus 2 to minus 1, it becomes minus 3. And add minus 2 to plus 3, it becomes 1. Therefore, the limits of the new signal is going to become from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. This is where the new signal uh, occupies its space. And as I said, the shape of the signal is going to remain same. Nothing much is going to happen for that. It is just a time shift. Yes, uh, let me draw the time shifted uh, signal. This is how it is going to look. Yes, we are getting it. And then it has to move up. Just be careful while uh, sketching the signal. One need to sketch it uh, very much exactly. Okay, this goes till this point and then something like this. So this is the new time shifted signal. The amplitude of this is 1, this is 2 and uh, at the bottom this is minus 1 and here also it remains same as minus 1. So this is x of t plus 2. So now what I want, I want x of uh, 2 minus t. Uh, I got uh, this signal, I just have to take the reflection of the signal and so that I would get the uh, exact signal. So let me just get again x axis and y axis. I would draw this exactly below this so that I can add these two signals very easily. So whenever we are considering addition, subtraction, multiplication, just draw the signals one below the other so that we can sketch them very easily. Yes, so now I have to uh, take the reflection. Whenever I take the reflection, I have to take the reflection along the vertical axis. So whatever the time limits are there for uh, negative axis, they become positive and the positive number they become negative. So 0 remains as it is, plus 1 becomes minus 1 and uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, they become 1, 2 and 3. They become the positive uh, limits. I is, that, is that fine? So this is what uh, I am trying to sketch now. Now, how does the signal look like? It is exactly the reflected version along the vertical axis. So whatever uh, we have here, uh, just try to sketch something like this. Correct? From 0 onwards, it should go up till the amplitude of uh, 2. Once it is done, till the 0 to 1, the amplitude remains 2 and after that it becomes, it becomes 1 and it stays 1 till 2. Is it correct? Yes. 2 to 3 it is going to decrease and it becomes 0 over here. So now I would call this as the reflected version of x of t plus 2 and I would call this signal as x of 2 minus t. I have taken the reflection. This is amplitude is, uh, this amplitude is uh, 2, this is 1, this is minus 1. So the next task is I need to add these two signals. Is that okay? So uh, addition becomes uh, very much easier uh, once we understand and once we have drawn the signals one below the other. Let me again get x axis and y axis over here. Yes. Now this signal whatever I am sketching I would call this as 
x of t plus x of 2 minus t. So we'll uh, write down all the possible limits and uh, we'll try to add the signals uh, limit by limit so that it becomes very much easier for us to understand. So here it is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So I need to add up uh, these two signals. So let's start from minus 1. At the position minus 1 this signal is 0. At the position minus 1 this signal is 0. So I would get 0 at minus 1. Now at 0. At 0 this signal uh, takes the amplitude 1. At 0 this signal takes 2 amplitude that is minus 1 plus 2. So which amplitude I have to consider? So we have to be careful here. As I am moving from minus 1 to 0, I will take the amplitude as minus 1. Are you getting it? As it is taking two values, I uh, will just tell, tell you one trick. As I am moving from minus 1 to 0, at the position 0, I will take the amplitude as minus 1. And here it is plus 1, I am adding them and I am going to get a 0. Is that correct? So I would get 0. And I have to join these two points, the signal remains as 0 only. Correct? So I would get something like this. Now, I will consider 0th position again. And now as I am moving from 0 to 1, this time I will take the amplitude as 2. Are you getting it? 0 to 1, here the amplitude is 1. Uh, 1 plus 2, I am going to get 3. At the position uh, at the position 0 again, I am going to get the amplitude as uh, 2 plus 1, I would get 3. So I will just draw here. Uh, yes. Here I would represent this as 3, this is 2, this is 1. At the position 0, I would get a new signal, that new point that is uh, 3. Uh, later join these two points, previous point was here and the current point is somewhere at the position at the amplitude 3. So now I get the signal something like this. So now check at the position 1. At the position 1 the amplitude is uh, uh, 2 here, at the position 1 the amplitude is 1, 2 plus 1 it remains at 3 only. At the position 1, till position 1 it remains as uh, 3 only. Is that correct? So now let us check at the position 2. At the position 2, this amplitude is 1. At the position 2, it is taking two amplitudes. One is plus 2, another is minus 1. Which one I have to consider? As I am moving from 1 to 2, I would consider it as 2. 2 plus 1, it becomes 3. So at the position 2, the amplitude is still uh, 3. 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3. So I am going to get the same signal continuing till the position Correct? So now uh, at the position 2 again I will check. As I am moving from 2 to 3 at the position 2 I will take the amplitude as minus 1. So here it is plus 1 and they become 0. As I am adding minus 1 plus 1 would become 0. Previous point was there and the current point I got it as a 0. So I just have to join uh, these two points and this is what I am going to get right now. Correct? Moving further at the position 3 this is 0. At the position 3, this is 0 and I would get 0. So this is the signal addition of uh, these two signals results in something like this. Uh, 0 to 2, its amplitude is 3. It looks something like this. Next task is I need to multiply such a signal with u of 1 minus t. So how does u of 1 minus t looks like? So it is a shifted and reflected version of unit step signal. Is that correct? So let me get that signal, get the x axis and uh, y axis again, wherein I would uh, try to sketch that signal. Yes, here I would call this signal as uh, u of t. This is u of t, which is being sketched with respect to time axis t. And how does u of t look like? That is the standard signal, we know it. For the negative values of time, it is 0, and for positive values of uh, time its amplitude is a 1 and it is 0 it is undefined we know this so this is how uh, u of t looks like so this signal I would call it as u of t and it continues till plus infinity its amplitude is 1 and now what I want I want u of 1 minus t that is uh, there is a shift and there is a reflection first I would sketch the shifted version u of t plus 1 correct so let me sketch u of t plus 1. So this signal I would call it as u of t plus 1. 
the shift the signal i would shift it to the left by one the shape of the signal is going to remain but the only thing is it gets shifted to the left by minus one if i sketch it is going to look something like this yes i'm getting it right and this will continue till plus infinity the shape of the signal i said it is going to remain same only thing is it is being shifted to the left by minus 1 so now i got this signal what i have to consider i need u of which signal it is 1 minus t i got u of t plus 1 i will take the reflection i would get u of minus t plus 1 nothing but u of 1 minus t just draw the reflected version and later add it with the signal so now uh, let me get x axis and y axis i would draw it exactly below this signal and now current signal i would call it as u of 1 minus t so this is what we are looking for u of 1 minus uh, t is that correct how does that signal look like so now I said it is going to be the reflected version uh, positive values will become negative values negative values will become positive values so here I would get uh, something like this the signal minus infinity to minus 1 is 0 so now it becomes reflected version along the vertical axis so if I sketch the signal from 1 to infinity the values are 0 and here it gets uh, reflected just, just let me draw the signal correctly and it is going to look something like this so this signal I would call it as u of 1 minus t the reflected version and in this way this continues uh, till minus infinity correct this is 1 and this is 0 this is 2 this is 3 so now I need to multiply these two signals is that correct if I do that I am going to get the resultant uh, signal so let me just get x axis and uh, y axis let me draw both the signals the resultant uh, signal yes this signal the resultant signal I would call it as x of t plus x of t plus x of 2 minus t this gets multiplied with u of 1 minus t so first write down all the possible limits and then it becomes very much easier for us to draw uh, minus 1 0 uh, here the signal is 0 so just let me draw a few points here minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and let's see how does the signal look like yes at the position 0 let's start uh, uh, step by step at the position 0 the amplitude is 3 at the position 0 what is the amplitude amplitude is nothing but 1 so what I am doing now I am multiplying 3 into 1 is 3 so here I would get at the position 0 I would get the amplitude as 3 so just draw this that signal this is how it is going to uh, look at the position uh, 0 so now consider uh, sketching the signal at the position 1 at the position 1 this signal is 3 at the position 1 this signal is uh, 1 so 1 into 3 again I am going to get 3 only so at the position 1 also I am going to get the signal 3 so it has to continue at the position till the position uh, 1 the amplitude is uh, 3 so now 1 onwards this signal exists 1 to 2 but here I don't have anything therefore I would get 0 so at the position 1 it should come back to 0 and 2 onwards it remains 0 only so the previous point was here and the current point is at 0 position I'll just have to uh, join these two points to get the current signal the right answer yes and I would say its amplitude is 3 this is the answer for this is how the final signal looks like just draw a few more points here with zero value so that it becomes very much evident so that we'll know all the values yes so now this is the final signal i have explained this numerical step by step 
I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely answer those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel, NG Classes, for more videos on signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.